What's going on everybody? Yeah, I am. I'm back again. It's been four whole months since I uploaded a video, but I'm back again this time. Now, before we start everything, y'all go ahead and hit the notification button because I got 1.9 million subscribers and thousands of y'all don't even be seeing when I be uploading. So let's just go ahead and get that out of the way right now. Go ahead, hit the notification bell. Now, a lot of things have been happening lately and I feel like I gotta touch on them. As y'all know, I'm from Florida. Not only Florida, but the game has lost a soldier. XX Tentacion was murdered in broad daylight. Savage just plotted outside waiting on him to leave a motorcycle shop. Just so they could rob him. And they got what they wanted. They got the bag and even took his life. But one of the most fucked up parts about it was that people pulled out their cell phones recording him in a car life was slumped over. And another rapper was killed the same day resulting in two deaths. And then there's Lil Junior. The 15 year old boy who was drug out of the corner store viciously killed by five men. And guess what? Grown men just sat around watching the 15 year old boy get drug out of the store after he collapsed and bled to death. We are becoming highly desensitized in the savage generation. The internet is a gift and a curse. On one hand, you can make a come up and take control of your destiny. And on the other hand, folks are so magnified to it that they feel like everything belongs on them. And the people who do it will tell people they did it just to show folks what's up. Just to prove something. But will never admit deep down inside that they did it for some damn attention. When you're not used to having, sometimes you'll wind up doing things that's way beyond humanity. And that, that right there, that's what we're witnessing today. It's one thing to be recorded on camera as a regular person. But now that everybody getting on, blowing up independently, I feel it's time to open our eyes on a whole nother level. Keep your head on a swivel because the internet is the new streets. People dying behind this stuff. Life and death is in the power of the tongue and social media. We don't have mediators to monitor us on how to move. When I was coming up, my generation was introduced to the golden age of social media. We went from cassettes to CDs and now social media. Everything is the internet now. But we didn't take it that serious. And if you got your ass whooped for saying some stupid shit online, it was because you went online and did it. And if a person got killed off of social media, people would literally look at you like you crazy. I mean, damn, why you had to kill the nigga? I mean, it's just online, bruh. It's just the internet. It really got bad when Chief Keef came in this motherfucker. My generation actually had a life outside that bitch and only checked in for leisure. Now, it's a whole wave of folks on the internet that can't even imagine living without it. And I don't know about y'all, but that is highly dangerous. And I get it, that's the way of the world. Things change. But we become so glued to it that we think that's the end all be all. Everybody, especially public figures, need to wash their back. Because we live in a clout chasing ass world that don't care about you catching L's. Whether it's killing, harming, or recording, it don't matter. It just simply don't matter. It's good and evil and everything, and you determine whether you want to be the devil. Being a devil is a choice and an angel as well. It ain't no nigga walking around with horns and a pitchfork. The devil is you. You made that whole ass move. We all gotta pull out our cell phone for everything just to prove shit. When we get fired, we record it. Our own family and friends get in a fight. We record it. When we cry, we record it. And a lot of these tears online be forced tears. Niggas be thinking about the shit they do before they get online and record that shit and cry. I'm not shitting on all of y'all who cry online, but a lot of y'all get online and cry and edit that bitch. You know exactly what you're doing. Arguments, we record. Robberies, we record. The only thing I ain't seen recorded yet was rape. We even record babies and toddlers doing drugs. Shit is fucked up out you. And how about this? Check this out. Check this out. Not only that, then they'll build a nerve to call themselves real ones after posting fuck shit. No, nigga. You just lame as hell. God should have made your ass an abortion, baby. We all should take accountability and come up with a plan on how to deal with lames like these. Because I'm pretty sure until shit start hitting home with you, that's when you gonna care. Until your mom, dad, cousin, uncle, brother, sister get their asses handed to them, that's the only time it seemed like a problem. Until it hit home with you, that's when you really care. A few years ago and before, I would have had some confidence that people would have helped me if I'm dying. But in this day and age, I would absolutely not want to die around you niggas. And when I say niggas, I mean you ignorant motherfuckers. Because I know that folks were recorded just to say they spotted spoken reasons. Just for some damn likes and shares. If I'm about to have a heart attack or something and just happen to know without a shadow of a doubt I'm gonna die, I'd rather run off to the bushes and die some damn well. To the goddamn bushes and die alone. And let the snakes, ants, and wild dogs eat my ass. Hell, I sacrificed my life to nature before you niggas record me. I ain't even trying to be funny. I'm dead ass serious. People sick out shit, bruh. But anyway, I don't want to let too much off my chest because I got a lot of stuff to give y'all later on. So y'all make sure y'all come back every Sunday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern because I'm back. And make sure you check the channel every day because I may upload random. And also, please don't forget to hit the notification bell because like I said, there are thousands of people that don't even see when I upload. Y'all get y'all act together, man. I know I'm talking to somebody who watching me right now who don't did some lame ass shit what I'm talking about. Change your way of thinking, man, and start helping folks. You can't prosper and hurting God's children. And just because you think you record and hold a phone in your hand and ain't doing no harm, you're wrong. You hold just as much responsibility as people who doing the actual harm. Y'all just remember, man, I ain't shit yet. I ain't shit yet. Eat, eat.
Entertainment. Entertainment.